The rise in the number of cases that we've seen today is concerning. The cases are predominantly among younger people. Some breaking news now. In the UK has recorded almost 3,000 new cases of coronavirus. 2,988 cases were confirmed today. Now, that compares with 1,813 cases yesterday. And that takes the UK's total number of cases to 347,152. Bernays terminology. In order to dissect the newest false narrative of resurgence, we have to start by defining the terms, those powerful words that are pop media's weapons for keeping people locked down. Terms like tests, cases, these are the terms everyday media uses to justify the perpetual lockdown. The corporate narrative has distorted these definitions just enough to achieve maximum compliance. Their greatest fear is that people will take a second look. But here's the great lie. What is a case? A case is when someone gets sick from a disease. That's completely different from a positive test. These two terms are not synonymous. Whenever you hear a news story that uses the phrase, new spike of cases, 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 change the channel, they're lying. Pretending like all positive tests were cases of COVID made it look like there was this virulent outbreak of sick people sweeping across the country. But of course, there wasn't. 99% of positive tests never become cases. The enormous increase in positive tests does not pose any threat to the nation's health because only about 1% of these positives ever become cases. And even those that do, only about 1% of those are serious enough to require treatment. But corporate news deliberately twists these two different numbers together and pretends that this huge spike in positives are all deathly ill, a major threat to the nation's health.